everybody, it's not only the chief executive of Ghana Cocoa Board, everybody ought to be concerned, including the honorable member and the chair, because it's not just about cocoa farms, it's also about our natural resources, the river bodies uh, in particular. And I'm particularly concerned because when we give ourselves the next 20, 30 years, rivers as we see, um, and Cobra, the Pra, you know, the Ophin, and all those rivers traversing through these um, cocoa landscapes and then in these man areas will disappear. They are going to disappear because you have a lot of search being, you know, discharged. And all these rivers are getting sorted. You know, they are just being filled with sand and search. So eventually, they are all going to disappear. Poetry says that in 50 years' time, Ghana will have to be importing water to do everything, because the rivers will be no more. And Cobra will disappear, the Pra will disappear, the Ophin will disappear, the Brim, all these rivers are going to disappear. That's one. The other aspect had to do with ourselves, because we have a lot of mercury also being discharged, which poses a lot of health risk for you know, human beings, not just those who live in these uh, corridors or enclaves, but it extends to those of us even living here in Accra. There's no galamsey taking place in Accra. But for what you know, you go and buy a nice tilapia you know, uh, for your afternoon lunch, who knows? Maybe that, you know, tilapia or that redfish has actually swallowed some mercury from the sea or from any of these rivers. You are likely to be affected. So the fight should not just be people who live along these rivers or cocoa farmers. It, it should be a fight for everybody.